Good afternoon, Shit, you wonderful people. Start again, start again. Oh, there's poop on the floor. There's what? There's poop on the floor. <laughs> You've been pooing on the floor again? We're with the crew. Sorry. We're at, uh, we're at Hilton Park Services on the M6, heading south down to Redditch for round one of the tour series. A little bit later of the start of the vlog today. But we're in the, but we're in the car. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Our travel time so far is 1 hour 51 minutes, we've got about 45 minutes to go. How much does he pay for these? Um, three pounds. Three pounds? Three, no. Three, three, three pounds. pounds? No you didn't. Why have you got sweets before a race? I don't mind, they are. <laughs> we've arrived in Redditch, dropped Monica off with her team. Uh, she's, doing the, she's doing the women's version of this race uh, this evening and the road is closed. The cycle is making the roads be closed, we don't know, we can't get through. I guess we go around this way. Um, but anyway, drop Monica off of her team. She's doing the women's race. I'm heading now over to see the rest of the St. Perrin boys. But we have arrived. We have arrived in Redditch and it's been raining all day. The forecast says it's going to rain all day and it's going to be a wet race. But so far, so far, so good. It's, I mean, it's wet on the ground, but it's dry. It's not raining right now. And the sky doesn't look too bad. So fingers crossed, eh? Um, so fingers crossed it stays like this. Last time I was in Redditch, I've not been to Redditch for a long time. I've only been a couple of times in my life. But the last time I was here, guys, I was um, I was racing BMX at the, at the Redditch BMX track. So yeah, another cycling event, but a different a different discipline. What happens with these like closed city centre crits because uh, it's all closed circuits. You have to park a million miles away and walk like a mile to get to meet up with the rest of the team. So that's what we're doing right now. Walking. Are we? Are we walking? I thought, we, thought we were riding, mate. Not good for the legs. That's yeah, it is a quick stretch. Just making a few adjustments. Some minor aero adjustments, is that yeah. like that? Yeah, just dropping, dropping the nose of the saddle a little bit. You know, if we're going to be in these races, you're going to be in drops for pretty much an hour. So I want as much. Uh, as much stress taken off my frontal region as possible. So guys, this is the first uh, first race with the brand new Team Wheels. It's um, This year we're going to be riding the, the Vision Wheels with 25mm tubeless tyres. Tubeless tyres are the, are the absolute future. Last weekend, a couple of weeks ago when we were at the Rutland Sickle Classic, yeah, the race that I crashed, um, we had no punctures that whole day. And I think like we were one of the only teams that didn't puncture. So. Hutchinson's 25mm tubeless tyres, get yourself on them, uh, they roll mega fast, yeah super nice tyre and that is what we're going to be racing tonight on these new, on these brand new 55mm Vision carbon wheels which look pretty sick actually don't they? They like, look they're pretty, amazing. They're pretty stealthy, I mean, look at this, I think you can get this in white as well like white decals but I think the black just looks so much more cool. They look nice on the bike to be fair. Alright, come mate. Is that new helmet? It's rather snazzy. Tall series special. <laughs> 30 minutes till the race starts. Boys just warming up in the car park. First outing of our new kit today. It's bright and orange Santini kit with our new Rattler helmets. So the thing with the tour series is it's much more about the team rather than the individual. So the accumulation of all the five riders, the time is taken after they cross the finish line, and that, that time is accumulated together, and then it, then everyone's put into a table. So even if you drop, even if you're off the back of this race, you've got to race to the finish line because every second may well count. 15, 20 minute warm up done. We're gonna jump on the course now, the women have finished, Mon's finished her race. And uh, we'll be switching to GoPro right now, thankfully. Sweet spot, the organizers of, of this race have um, have allowed us to use, or have given me permission 
to use my GoPro so it can bring, hopefully, gonna bring some sick onboard footage. See you on the other side. Okay then guys, welcome, welcome your faces to round one of the 2019 Tour Series um, here in Redditch. As you can see, it's a wet one, it rained. Um, the rain actually started to pick up around half an hour in, so right now we're 16, 17 minutes in and it's, um, you know, it's not raining but it's quite a lot of surface water, um, so the roads, actually they, they, weren't, they weren't slippy at all, so um, yeah, shout out to the Hutchinson's tyres that we were that we were provided for this race. Uh, Hutchinson 25 mil tubeless tyres. They were grippy as hell. They were grippy as hell. Um, so as you can see here, we're 17 minutes in, um, about a third of the way through the crit, and people are starting to get tired. I'm starting to get pretty pretty gassed. Um, for the first kind of half of the race, or the first 15 minutes, the first the first quarter. I was pretty well positioned, um, and then I, you know I just found myself starting to drift towards the back. Basically, these races are full gas for 20 minutes, um, kind of like an, an all-out 20-minute effort. I did my second, second best ever 20-minute power. So it, it, it's you know it's, it's hard, it's, it's a hard 20 minutes, and then uh, once sort of order is, order of dominance is asserted, and then a few guys had got dropped. Um, you know, 20 minutes is kind of that sweet spot where the pace starts to settle down a bit and you get into more of a rhythm. Like, you just never really feel comfortable in this first 20 minutes. Um, I think it's more psychological than physical. Kind of being in this, being, trying to keep yourself, tell yourself that you need to just, just go a little bit harder and eventually it's going to settle down. You know, if you're in this position now and you think this pace is going to continue like this for the next 40 minutes, for the rest of the race then, you know, that's, that's when problems start to occur and I think that's kind of what happened to me at around 20 25 minutes that's when um, that's when I blew up so I'm just gonna skip ahead here I'm just gonna skip ahead as you can see I'm at the back of the group I'm letting gaps go in the corners so that's kind of another thing I'm just maybe maybe the wet making me a little bit let a little bit not not confident a little bit less confident in those corners and I'm really having to, to kick out of them and jump to get back on the wheels and those you know, every little when you're on a limit like this, every little extra effort is just is just niche good. You know, it, it takes it out. It takes that kick out of your legs. Yeah, eventually, I just slowly started working my way towards the back, and I found myself on the back right here behind behind this rubble rider, and then um, 
you know, as you can see, we come out of that little chicane there. I let the gap go again. I need to kick hard to get back on the wheel. And I just, I just didn't have that sharpness in in my legs. Um, and eventually, you know, the wheel, as you can see, it's getting further and further away from me. I, I rushed the gap a little bit on the descent, so um, you know, I was pretty confident. I was pretty confident I was able to get back on that gap just by going a little bit faster into that corner. But then, yeah, as you can see, they, those guys kick out the corner. I can't kick. Um, I'm up there at six. 57 okay 800 watts but you know getting dropped 800 watts these races are serious and um, these races are serious so yeah kind of after this point 25 minutes that's when the pace started to sell a little bit uh but yeah that was my that was my time in the front group over for round one but we've got six more races uh hopefully they're going to be dry that group had pro probably halved in size so there's a group about the same size of that behind me so because every rider counts in terms of the time, you know, it's more of a team thing, as I mentioned. So you're, you're setting in, on a table over the accumulation of all your times of all five riders. So everyone's time counts. That's why you've got to, despite being dropped, you've got to race to the finish. So I decided to, to just kind of chill until this group's going to group's gonna catch me because we've, got, we've still got half the race left. So I'm not going to stay solo in front of the guys behind me. I decided to wait let them catch up and I rode around in that group for the remainder of, of, of the race. Eventually here at 53 minutes, uh, the front bunch, which was down to about, I reckon 20 riders now, um, had, had lapped us, had caught us. As you can see, Jake, Jake, Joe, no, Joe, Ollie and Steve are all still in this front group. So we kind of let them come past and then once they come past, jump and then sit on the back of their wheels because um, like I said, it's all about the timing. So despite being dropped, despite being lapped, um, you're still fighting for time amongst other guys that also been lapped to, to fight for the overall team position. So that's why these tour series is a completely different kind of dynamic to a, a, a generic race. Um, they're much shorter circuits. You know, this, this circuit today, I think we were lapping in like one, one minute 50. You know, even though we got lapped, it's not like we got lapped on a, on a big road race course. Uh, you know, they, they the laps are only one minute fifty, um, but but yeah. So that's that's kind of that's kind of the order of my race. Finished in the, the second main group on the road. Yeah, pretty disappointing to fall out of that front group. You know, I, I feel like I'm capable of it. So we'll see how um, you know how how the next the next races pan out. But that was my race done and dusted after 20 minutes. Rolled around with the second group, and then as a consequence, guys, we are in fourth overall in the team position. So. You know, we're ahead of a couple of UCI teams. We're behind a couple of UCI teams. We're kind of mid-table. So yeah, all to play for in round two up in Scotland next Tuesday. Stay tuned for that. Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared? The first 20 minutes is so hard. Once it lapped, I was fine. Once it lapped, I was in the... I was in the point. So much lactic. So crazy. Here I come. <laughs> yeah, I found that. Uh it, it kinda looked like it hurt me. Yeah. Just the first 20 first 20 minutes, it's just full gas. And then after that it settles down like once, you know, brake goes or whatever. Like once the bunch lapped us, I was alright to sit in it. But just getting through that first 20 minutes and I reckon it's psychological more than anything like physically you know you can do it but psychologically it's pretty hard you know